Morning. Hey. What's happening, Brad? What's going on? You right, mate? What's happening? Good, mate. Alright, t-shirt design time. Okay. One of my pals, he, he, he gave me the name Super Skeet. I just went, went with the Superman sort of theme and, yeah, just stuck with it ever since, really. So, Darwin's a good, good fighter, but he's not been in with someone like me before. He's, he's got one way to come and try and beat me, he's try and come and stick it on me. If he tries to outbox me, he'll be a silly boy. To win the British title outright has been, been my dream from a kid and to do a good job on Saturday in London, it just opens my eyes to, to bigger and better things, what, what's in the pipeline. People's thinking I'm mad talking about the Pacquiao fight and that, and he's just got beat by, by Jeff Horn on the weekend. And I'm ranked number three with the WBO, and I won that world title fight. So, and I believe I'll, I'll beat Jeff Horn. My little girl, I got a little girl, Alicia. My last fight, she was she was begging me to come. I didn't I didn't really want her to come, but she got a bit upset and that when I was fighting. So, I, yeah, I, I, she wants to come to this fight, but I don't. I think it's best you watch it on TV. Ollie done me a uh, snapback last time from a fight and got home and she was going through the bag and she took out my cap and she was like, is that for me? Couldn't tell her no, so <laughs> she had that. That could be my bargaining tool. You can't come to the fight, but I got you a new hat. Right, here he goes. Oh! And still. <laughs> this is my third defense. That's how confident I am. Ollie's doing me a t-shirt with outright on the front, so I stick that on when I've won it, just to let everyone know I'm the number one. All don't go to plan, I'll be going in the bin. <laughs> okay. How's it going? Wicked, mate. Both, both. Thank you, mate. Yeah. Nice one. Thank, Thank you. you. Today now we have a press conference, um, so we're just hanging about now, um, waiting for that. So we're we here for, for three nights, there's a lot, a lot of waiting around to do um, in the meantime, but it's part, part of the job, I suppose. Just got my... Box kit with me, this is my wing, ring walk jacket, which I think most fighters have before they go in the ring. I've got my my boxing shorts here with the iron mic printed on the front. And his memory, we were fighting each other to, to better ourselves, to sort of qualify for this British title, you know, and unfortunately Mike, Mike lost a life trying to pursue his dream. And, you know, I, I, I said all along that I want to continue it not only for myself and try and win it, not only for myself, but for, for Mike too. And like I say, if I went on Saturday night, that, that bet will be going up to Dundee to, to visit him and, and his family. You know, my, Mike had family, friends, a son, a girlfriend, a mum. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not about me, it's, it was about them. I'm here on Saturday night to do this for, for, for all of us. And I, I really can't wait to, you know, to perform and to produce the goods. It's, it's definitely the biggest night of my career. And, um, I, I'm really, really looking forward to it. We've only been together maybe six, seven, seven weeks. A match made in heaven in, in, in many ways. I think all different styles of different fighters in my gym and I try and train them all individually, but I mean, he's right up Ricky Hatton Street, isn't he, if you, when you think about it. I think the promoting of myself is probably what I can pass on. You know, I mean, everybody seems seems to think you need controversy now in order to sell tickets. Well, there was never no controversy about me, and I sold more tickets than anyone. You see a lot more relaxed Daryl Williams in, in in this fight. That's for de de dead certain, yeah. I've had a lot of press conferences and caused a few murders at press conferences, to be honest, but uh, I think the only time anyone got under my skin was, was Mayweather. I wanted to impress my fans. He wasn't bothered about his fans as long as he got paid, you know, just stuff like, you know, just different people, that stuff. So it, 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 it infuriated me, but um, I thank Floyd for, for, for what he did because, you know, it's made me, you know, more knowledgeable of what I can pass on to my fighters. You put this fight on in a phone box. These guys are going to come to fight. It's going to be hotter than July in there. No, nah, there's no respect there, you know. I'll I, I tell you how it is. Behind all the little tattoos and all the big bench presses and all the weights, under all of that, he's soft. I saw it, he was shaking. You fought a man at 30%. Well, I hear, well, I hear to make excuses. And you still lost. No one thought I was going to win. Yeah. I didn't think no, I was going to win. The only way you're going to beat me is by knocking me out. And that, that's I'll, I'll knock you out, brother. Don't worry about that. I'll <laughs> knock you out, brother. Don't worry about that. I feel like I won the fight last time. So I'm not going to do, do anything different. You're an idiot. I mean, I've, I feel like I genuinely won the fight. One minute he's going to box me, now he's telling me he's going he's gonna to do this, he's going to do that. I don't think he knows what he's doing, to be honest. 
you know, let's go, let's let's just have it. Let's just let's go to war. You know, your career's over, finished. Saturday, yeah, you're done. It's finished. Yeah. Painting and decorating. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's no bad blood between myself and Brad Leo. He's a good fighter, and that's why he holds the belts come Saturday night. My plan is to, to take that off him. My last performance was one of my best to date. I just keep proving these doubters wrong. They can think I can't punch, but Saturday night, uh, I'll be proving them wrong again. I'm working hard in the gym every day, and... Um, just preparing for each fight as it comes and building my profile as a fighter and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to my next fight. I'm just expecting a tough opponent. Um, he's a champion, he's not a champion for no reason. He's got more knockouts in his record than I've had fights, so I don't take no opponent lightly. Yeah, it's the, f the first big fight for me so far, but I've had a good amateur career and I believe I'm ready to be stepped up. People like me, I'm from the hood, like, I'm from the gutter, I'm not from where you're from. Okay. This is like two different worlds, yeah, colliding, yeah. And, and that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah? You've you never see? been to East London, obviously. Huh? That's calm. I walk through there with my freaking trousers down, bro. That's nothing. I watched a uh, video about a month ago of Mickey Elliott, and he was saying, when you first turned pro, he, he thought you'd make a good journeyman. If Frank was saying that about me, I'd be disgusted if I'm honest with you. I've often wondered though, what, what is it? I thought it was a, like Sunny said, I thought it was a statue. Yeah. This is what all the fuss is about. <laughs> yeah, we're here at Olympic Park and uh, I've just been at the press conference. As you saw afterwards, he was getting heated and uh, he was getting worked up. His emotions were running high. Sam was asked with a cine how to do a, an head to head with, uh, with Frank Warren, the promoter. He dresses up. Makes it look like he's a tough guy. He's been watching too many gangster films. What I saw was a senior pushing his head in a, in a Sam, in a Sam's head, and so all I did was walk around the side of uh, a senior, and uh, then he then he, he put his hands on Sam's chest, and then so I just just give him a little little push, up, split him up. I think he was a little bit rattled by that. You know, I can see the couple of box from me. I'll be fighting there on Saturday, but my main goal in life it used to be at fighting at Upton Park, but I can see now I'd love to fight at this place one day and fill it up, 60,000 people. Yeah, on Saturday, there's going to be f over 400 West Ham fans on the night. Mark Noble, he was, he's was been watching me train, and I mean, I'm, I'm good friends with Mark. I send him a text here and there, and I mean, he'll be here, here at the fight as well, sitting ringside, so it's good to have his support. It's good to have the club behind me and supporting me. We lit up the flame and we lit up the world. When our time came, Britain, we did it right. That's really limited. Yeah, is that inspiration? So. Yeah. 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 Come to do the weigh-in, and I'm just rehydrating, like every other boxer does, and it's tomorrow's showtime. The Hammer, Sammy McNeese! Prediction, a win, 100%. Uh, if you want to put the money on, go for a knockout. 232 pounds for Dynamite Daniel Dubois. Yeah, it's been long, it's been hard. Hard grueling rounds and sparring, and I don't predict a round, but I'm well prepared for this fight and ready to do the business. The Smasher, Jermaine Smile! I'm ready to take it to him, I mean, I'm ready to cause him, cause him some pain and get my title back. Ferocious Daryl Williams! I just get really into it, you know, I was barking at him, you know, uh, I was showing him that I'm the bigger dog. And this is what we're gonna do, we're gonna have it at. I'm ready to take it to him, not me, I'm ready to cause him cause him some pain and get my title back. Career done, finish. Bradley Super Ski Made weight now, um, so it's all about getting getting switched on now, rehydrating and uh focusing on tomorrow. I'm gonna win my belt outright. This is coming home for me and coming home with me for good.